So this is my desk. I spend a lot of time studying and working. Kind of difficult to study anywhere in the house. This is my preferred study space. It's facing a wall. I normally keep this uh, door closed because it closes automatically and it annoys me so much. This desk is a set from Ikea from years ago. For the longest time, it was the only storage in my room. And it actually accumulated so much clutter in here, as you guys know from my decluttering video like a while ago that I did. I had so much clutter in here and now it's a lot more organized. I keep my books here. I do not own a lot of books, but the ones that I do own are here. I can't really find the set on Ikea, but if I do, I will leave it linked down below. I will actually leave like a ton of products linked in the description so you so you know where everything's from and stuff. When I'm working, I love to have a drink nearby and it can be a cup of tea caffeine really gets me going so it's just normally a cup of coffee with uh instant coffee this one is coffee with milk so i just uh brew like coffee with water and then add milk on top normally when i'm sipping on coffee and i just don't like drink it at once i'll drink with a straw <laughs> i also keep my water bottle in here sometimes i'm lazy and i don't fill it but i've been trying to be a little bit more meticulous about filling my water bottle and i'm careful to not spill it this this one is pretty like i know that this doesn't spill there's been accidents before so i try to keep it very protected from the rest of my stuff this is the space where i normally have my laptop or my tablet but it's pretty big and hence why i don't have it here right now because it covers a lot of space the desk is not big at all but it does its purposes having my laptop here and my stuff here it, it's not really practical and i have a lot of shoulder pain accumulated my posture is really bad and so i've been trying to keep my screen here i've been meaning to get something to lift the screen so it's in my um eye level i have um a mouse pad navigate the computer without reaching over my keyboard and my notes and i have my keyboard right here it's a lot better for my shoulders and my back and my neck so i don't have to constantly reach or be bent over in my desk the keyboard that i use is this white and pink new key keyboard i normally keep it covered with a plastic thing it lights up, it has different modes and stuff, and it's really freaking beautiful and satisfying to write with. This is the desk lamp that BenQ sent over. I've never had my desk so well lit before. It has different levels of uh, temperature and um, intensity. Keep the smart option turned on so it senses the light in the room. In this space, I keep every stationary slash things that I use uh, really to for you, you get it like my stationary and stuff. This is some decor that I use, the little peach drink plant slash flowers with the vase. I actually think this is one of the prettiest decor that I've gotten. I think it's really pretty. I know it's really simple, but I just really like it. And this is the fan that I use even on cold days. I use it a lot during the summer, but even on cold days, if I need to close my windows, I'm really claustrophobic. So I use it to feel like there's air moving even when my windows are closed. This set right here is an absolute lifesaver because before I used to keep, like before, like in high school, I got this in high school. Um, before, I used to keep everything in my desk. And it was an absolute mess. It was a mess. And this saved a ton of space and clutter. It has three levels. And the lower level, I washi tape in here in this section, uh, which is pretty old. Some washi tape is pretty old. The most recent ones are these squared ones. Material papers, which I keep uh, with for journaling and for my planning. These are sticky page markers. I found little containers. This was actually a perf perfume bottle and I found these containers that fit exactly these spaces and I keep miscellaneous stuff like post-its. I keep my um, pencil sharpener in this little box because it can stain a lot. I keep um, these little like materials that I know that are here if I need them. This is a USB drive, little elastic band, 
And in here, I keep post-its and these are staples, I believe, for my mi mini stapler glue and oh my god, it opened. These things, it's so annoying when it opens because the box that it came with isn't really... Oh my god. On the second level, I have pencils, some pens. A while ago, I got rid of a lot of old stationery and some of them were still perfectly working and I kept- this one is recent and I kept them here. This one is over like a long time ago but it's so cute that I don't want to throw it away. These are food containers and I thought they were good for my desk and I've kept them. I didn't have to buy anything. This is a coaster that I use because my desk is filled with coffee stains from when I didn't have a coaster that don't, they don't really come out anymore. It's a simple calculator. Do I have anything else in here? No, I don't. Do I? I feel something in here. Oh, it's my matches for my candle. Matches. In the back, I have my stickers. I'm trying to get new stickers because these are probably all ending and it's really sad. A bunch of pencils that I should throw away, but I don't have the heart in me to throw them away because I don't know why. I don't really use this ever, so I don't want to have it in here. I got this for Christmas for- oh my god. I got this for wrapping presents, but it's good for, for journaling too. Coloring pencils that I use once in a while for my planner. And these are old, once again, and I have them in a yogurt cup. In the upper level, it starts getting a little bit difficult getting things out because it's so deep and and short these are individual wipes which i normally use for cleaning screens of my tech i have here a ruler and i can't tell you how old this ruler is this is a book light i got this from when like flying tiger first opened i got this from like my first for my during my first visit to flying tiger but i lost the little batteries i have a huge rubber this was also from when flying tiger first opened and i haven't really used this like at all and it's just a huge rubber doing nothing in my room it's not useful at all but i thought it was funny it said for for my really big mistakes this is my guitar strings this was really expensive this was 11 euros so ever since i got it i use it so little with really cute stickers i use this to stick things in the wall, posters and stuff. I have some highlighters here, they're pretty old, but they still work. Also, a coloring book in here that I don't normally use except when I'm on summer break and I don't have anything to do. I have here my Korean textbook, which I definitely should use more often. And I have here some Christmas stickers I got recently for name tags. For the longest time, I've tried to think of a place where to put these things because I use them too frequently to keep them stored somewhere and I need to remind myself to keep planning. So I don't, I don't like to store them very far away from me. These are my planner, my journal. This sheet of paper I actually used to journal with to-do lists and this is also a to-do list but with sections and this is the weekly planner and I keep my normal planner also tucked in there but it normally stays in my desk while i'm working I thought that this was a good compromise of keeping it out of sight but also next to me so i don't forget it these are my two pen pencil cases where i keep most of the stuff that i regularly regularly use my uh, highlighters pen black pens universal stylus my timer is normally on the clock mode i've tried to use this for uh, studying when it comes to like the timer mode and I can count up but I found that I really like the app I really prefer using the apps instead of this and so it's normally a clock but it's really useful anyways because I really like to have the time displayed here and here is like I said my planner which I also keep on my left side if I'm using my computer here I put my tablet on top of the planner so we've come the full way around so let's talk about the rest. 
of my desk because it is pretty big. The bottom part of my desk has this space right here and it's perfect because I can put two storage boxes there from Ikea and they fit perfectly and I just have a bunch of notes from the previous years. I can also put my feet up when I want to. I'm actually really proud of how they look because they used to be a huge mess and I've organized them a ton ever since. So starting with the right door, I don't have anything on the left door but on the right door I do have some decor. These are some postcards that I just put plaster in here. This is a print from a picture from tumblr i think i printed it myself and this is a very special um, like it has emotional meaning to me because this was from sketchy medical sketchy medical actually is like a pretty important medical school company they make videos for like students to uh, memorize stuff better and i've used it a lot in my third year for infection microbiology and they actually reached out to me during my third year and they wanted to send me a t-shirt and i thought it was so insane it was really crazy because sketchy medical is huge amongst medical students and they saw my channel and they wanted to like reach out to me that's my name on it that's that's my name the first shelf in the right side i have books that i do own i do not own a lot of books like i mentioned a dale carnegie book which is how to stop worrying and start living oh and by the side this is a albert einstein actually that's a piggy bank you can see you can put it in here i just use it for decor and to hold the books in place these two are from my dad that i stole this is jane austen pride and prejudice and look it's the movie it has a cover with the movie this is one of my favorite books, so I wanted to get a version. I wanted to get the English version, and I wanted to get myself the book, you know? Does that make sense? I, I wanted to get the book myself. Same thing with Romeo and Juliet, Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. This is The Blind Watchmaker by Richard Dawkins. This is a nonfiction that I really, I really like his books. The Lord of the Flies. I don't know the translation of this book, but I thought it was really, really good. It's a very different book. This is from a Portuguese writer. Sibila da Cristina Bessa Luís. This is also from my dad. It took a while for me to understand it and to read it, even though it's such a small book. The Waves by Virginia Woolf. This is such an iconic book, okay? So I had to steal it from my dad again. And then these three books I got myself. So we have 1984 by George Orwell, Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, and Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Oh my god. This is also one of my favorite books, and I thought the movie didn't do it justice. I really need a remake. Like, I think Jane Eyre, the movie, was trying to be what Pride and Prejudice, the movie, is, but it didn't do it justice at all. And there had to be three, three movies for this book. You know, the early life and when she met him and after, you know, that incident without giving any spoilers. I can never not be pissed off about that. Jane Eyre is such a good book. I haven't read The Origin of the Species yet, but I thought that it was such a good addition. I really like how it looks and I, I really like how it goes with the flowers. So I just put it here as like a main centerpiece. I have here my glasses right next to the centerpiece, which I haven't read yet. I'm waiting for Christmas break to read it. I have Little Women. I'm so excited to read this book. I know it's amazing. I've, I've been told it's amazing. But I just haven't got to read it and I really love this copy. So these are like the main books that I have and that I appreciate in my collection. Some of them aren't mine as I've been explaining, but um, until I get my own copies of Pride and Prejudice, Romeo and Juliet, they stay here because they have to stay here. To the left, this is normally covered. I don't really like the looks of it, but this is as organized as it can get. In this little binder thing, I have two medical like two magazines I have the january 2019 national geographic magazine which had surgery as a topic and i have this magazine from my own college 
is the woman in medicine topic and I think it's so important. I really like the pictures of the magazine. So I kept it. I get these books from Flying Tiger. I get compliments on them all the time. Um, and they are perfect as pocketbooks for the white coat. I have here my 2021 planner and I actually started planning January and February yesterday because yesterday I did my exam season planning and so I had to dive into 2021. Right here I have materials of this year and because a lot of my stuff is digital this is so little compared to what i used to have i have first of all the oxford handbook and this is one of the few textbooks that i actually have the vascular surgery textbook that they gave us at the hospital during this rotation a few prints that i have are here for my rotations this year now there's only the top two shelves left this first small one i keep a lot of like tiny stuff in here so i keep my wallet um this one doesn't have anything but this was also supposed to be for pocket money my glasses container here this is a safe right here and i don't have anything like really valuable it might seem that i have like a, a something really valuable in the safe but this is mainly childhood memories that i keep in the safe like pictures and little things that friends gave me and stuff right here i keep a music box this is starry night and down there i have tissue refill i have a tissue box in my drawer but that is a refill that i keep there just in case it runs out and that is the last shelf that i have and to the left you see all these books right here these are all my diaries from when i was a child from here to here these are all my diaries and journals. Here is a planner, actually. This is where my childhood trauma is contained and secured. These are also journals and drawings. This little jar that I'm trying to fill with pennies. And so far, I have, like, few pennies. But I'm trying to fill to the top. To the right, I have a binder. I don't really use it, so... I don't know and it doesn't really fit that well so it's why it's kind of crooked and i have the rest of my books i have anne frank's diary this is an adventure book my mom gave me this is also an adventure chronicle book that my mom gave me this is a really good book that i read during childhood this is star seeker by tim bauer ba bowler oh my god i read this book many times during my childhood years here I have Nick, two Nicholas Sparks novels. This, these are two John Green books. An abundance of Catherine's and Turtles All the Way Down. I definitely prefer Turtles All the Way Down. And then I have two children's books here. And on top, this is definitely not the place for them because I really love them. I have Becoming by Michelle Obama, that Mark Manson self-help book. And I have a really, this is one of the most recent books that I got and I still have to read, which is The Unhabitable Earth, Life After Warming by David Wallace Wells. It's here because I don't have anywhere else to put it right now, but I wanted to get probably another uh, floating bookshelf for my wall. Until I set that up, those three are in there. So that concludes the visit to my desk. This has been a great time for me. I hope you've enjoyed it too. As I've mentioned, my desk is the place where I'm most of my bedroom and I'm in my bedroom a lot. So this is a warm welcome to a very private place of mine. I hope you've enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching. And as I've mentioned, I'm going to link what I can down below if you're wondering where something is from. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.